The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 11, verses 20 to 24. Jesus began to reproach the towns in which most of his miracles had been worked because they refused to repent. Alas for you, Shorazin, alas for you, Bethsaida, for if the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. And still I tell you that it will not go as hard on Judgment Day with Tyre and Sidon as with you. And as for you, Capernaum, did you want to be exalted as high as heaven? You shall be thrown down to hell. For if the miracles done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have been standing yet. I tell you that it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom on judgment day as with you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Today is the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel is recommended in Scripture for its beauty. And it was there that the prophet Elijah defended the purity of Israel's faith in the living God. Towards the end of the 12th century AD, near a spring called after Elijah, a group of hermits established themselves on Mount Carmel and built an oratory in honor of Our Lady, whom they chose as their titular and patroness. They became known as the brothers of St. Mary of Mount Carmel. They regarded the Blessed Virgin as their mother and their model, first of all, in the leading, the contemplative life, and later in the sharing the fruits of their contemplation with others the solemn commemoration of Our Lady of Mount Carmel was first celebrated in England in the 14th century, but was gradually adopted throughout the Carmelite order as an occasion of thanksgiving for the countless blessings which Our Lady had bestowed on the Carmelite family. We have a great reason to pray for all those congregations who live on the spirituality of this great patroness. We pray for all the congregations who hold the name of Mount Carmel. May Mary, our mother, bless and intercede for all of them and grant them good vocations. Dear brothers and sisters, our God is a God of success. He is a God of goodness. He is a God of love and He is a God of victory to our life to eternity. He can lead us to win. He can lead us to goodness. He can lead us to beauty and to love. This is our Christian vocation, to live by these virtues. And God cooperates with all those who have their motive to do good. We see how Isaiah brings good tidings to Ahaz for victory. 
we see in the gospel reading Jesus condemning the acts of some towns saying if these miracles and good things were done to you were done somewhere else in places which we consider the worst consider Sodom and those places where God condemned them for their acts but your acts he says are worse than theirs for they would repent for all that they have done wrong but you would not do an inch to first of all acknowledge the wrong that you have done you are avoiding rejecting and stopping all the graces and blessings that are coming on you you are avoiding all the good that God has brought in your midst the Messiah himself who is bringing the good news you are trying to sideline him and you are also creating a hell to those who wish to accept eternal life so my dear friends we have an invitation today to receive God's word openly frankly but very faithfully very innocently many a times when we think we are educated we think we have the best of degrees best of knowledge so we begin to introspect in such a way that we factualize our life to faith aspects as facts and science faith is not such a scientific analysis or analytical matter faith is your belief faith is your life faith is the making of God in yourself when you accept God in your faith you accept all that he commands and you begin to obey without questioning you begin to obey without analyzing you begin to obey without counteracting let us ask our dear Lord to give us that faith so that we are able to believe in him we are able to receive him in our hearts very innocently. Amen.